Notre Dame Green Pond had a chance to secure the East crown with a win yesterday at Wilson. The Warriors honoring their five seniors ahead of last night's regular season finale, while the Crusaders were not only looking to snag a division title, but also the number one overall seed in the upcoming Colonial League tourney. Wilson senior Shamel Gibson would lead his squad with 26 points last night, getting the hoop and the harm here. That before Notre Dame junior Dane Vassallo collects his own miss, following it up for two of his 15 overall. Gibson adds another two on this contested runner. That before knocking down a deep triple, one of three he'd hit on the night. Warriors would hit the halftime break with a 23 to 21 advantage. But Crusaders would take control of this one in the third. Cameron Bone with the theft and transition bucket. Notre Dame then using some nifty passing as Zach Rogers finds the cutting Jordan Smith underneath for an easy deuce. Rogers then connecting with Vassallo for a pretty mid-range jumper off the right wing. Senior Rogers then gets himself in on the scoring. This left corner three ball capping a 13-0 run by the visitors to open the second half. Wilson would continue to fight though, getting two on the dribble drive from senior Anthony Shaw. He finished with 19 on the night. Gibson then with a tray from the top of the key, cuts the deficit down to 11 before the senior gets out on the break and finds his fellow classmate Shaw for the two-handed flush. Warriors continue to push as Shaw finds senior Austin Johnson for a corner three, bringing the Warriors within six. He'd had another assist on Gibson's final three ball of the night, but the comeback falls just short as Notre Dame prevails 63-60, to using halftime adjustments and claiming a key road triumph. The first half our offense was getting really slow. We were just passing the ball and chucking up shots. I think we got into their zone and we were making extra passes. Really just an easy game when you when you're moving the ball. So we talked about making sure we make uh, you know we get in the gaps, get the ball in the middle before we shoot our threes, and we can step directly into them. Um, and that's what we did in the second half, and we got their defense spread out a little bit, made some nice uh, passes. The kids on the baseline, they did a good job finishing. We just need to stay composed. I mean, when they're making shots, crowd's going nuts. We just need to stay within ourselves, do what we can control, uh, make extra passes, make free throws, and that's what closes out games. You know, a lot of teams blow that lead when it's a, when it's a, they get it to two and their fans are all excited. Great environment, and our guys didn't get up phase and stepped up and made big foul shots and got some big stops.